Hello, everybody. We are the Nomadic Crowbot, and welcome to the Accidental Project Narrowboat. My DIY is terrible. Why the hell would I want to take on a project like this? Yeah, you've guessed it. After failing to get a survey, this is what we've been lumbered with. So the cruising plans are gonna have to wait. So far, I think we've been waiting about a year and a half, so. But it is coming. We are months away, guys. So what a way to make a positive out of a negative. We're gonna make this boat our own. In the kitchen, we're going for a rusticy vibe. Becca has completely refitted all this using reclaimed materials. And one of the final jobs is putting down the flooring. So here we go. Yes, in true Becca style, we're gonna use the old flooring and just give it a little sprucey. We saved the old wooden floor so that we could replace it because it's a good proper solid wood flooring. So what we're gonna do now is separate it into long, medium and short bits and then basically roughly lay out the pattern that we want it to to be in on the kitchen floor before then starting to actually prepare it and reinstall it. First things first. Lucky dip. Which ones do you get? Love someone's gonna get. These ones. My turn. Get shot of that. So many, many moons ago, we stored the old flooring in any little crevice we could find, including under these dresses. So let's dig it out and see what, what state it's in. You know in. what's going to live in here, don't you? <laughs> How old are we? <laughs> A drawer of wood. So we've been stashing our old wooden floorboards away for a rainy day, and today is that rainy day. It ain't that rainy, actually. So while Bex is in the kitchen uh, repurposing the old flooring, I, surprise, surprise, am out the back repurposing our disgusting old shower tray. This thing is disgusting, but I've got me orders from Bex and we're gonna see where it leads. So shielded under here is the disgusting shower tray and these will shield my hands from the disgusting shower tray. Yeah, love a glove. That's two different types of glove in under two minutes. Watch this space. We're nearly done here with this, actually. So originally when it was really bad, I had the old scraper on there. It ain't too bad now, so I've got a little block with sandpaper wrapped around it and it's working a treat. Just trying to get the starting edge going, so then you can sort of build off of that, basically. So we're using this, the line of the cupboards, which will hopefully make things easy. But there's a little notch in the cupboard that I need to cut out. <laughs> Let's hope it fits or we're in for a long, long night. There's a hell of a lot of wood here. <laughs> Once you give it the old boot, it should be fine, shouldn't it? It must swell a little bit at the bottom, but to be honest, I'd prefer it to be a tight fit. I'm proud of you, Rebecca Crowbot. Keep them coming. A new day and time for Merigolds. I mean, we've had three different types of issue glove in the space of three minutes. That's a record. Just want to get all this crap off. Excess paint stripper from the other week. Gonna tidy it all up and see where we're up to because I think we're nearly there, aren't we? Enjoy the vlog. <laughs> you ever watch someone doing the dishes? This is gonna be uh, roughly the same. The old Mary Gold's on. Excess paint stripper everywhere. Bloody doing me head in. I not come off now. It's meant to strip stuff, isn't it? Not meant to stay on there. Get off paint stripper. It's starting to congeal and become form part of the shower tray. <laughs> Get off. I have cut up these bits of flooring to shape. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand them back so it'll be a much nicer finish. And when it's all laid in place, I'm going to put some more varnish or whatever we choose to use over the top. Again, we have a lovely sunny day, so perfect weather for it to dry, but it's in the shade. Next up, we're gonna get some red oxide on there, and what that does, any of the bare metal that's been exposed when I've scraped, it'll put a nice layer on there so it doesn't rust. I think that's right. Hello, babies. Red oxide, metal primer, rust resistant. And once we've bunged the red oxide, 
Metal primer on there. We'll put a coat of paint on there, but we'll we'll do that in a few days once it's all dried up. Disgusting. Wait, her name. First, I'm going to try and paint the little spout of our shower tray. So in here, I need to get a tiny little brush. What's going on? You're not having any more food. I think literally everyone at the marina is currently feeding these swans. A good life. Exactly the way a true narrow boater does this sort of stuff. Any old little stick, whack it on, hope for the best. Really, we just wanted to get in the hole, really. Lying down. I know what you're thinking, what a crappy little brush. Nice big splodge of this stuff. Well, now we do all the corners first, and then I'm going to roller it. And I'm going in quite thick with this. I, yeah, I don't think it's worth messing around, so we'll just put in a light little coat on. Next up, attach the roller nose. Yes, I like to refer to it as a roller nose. Okay, here we go. And get roller nosing. I like the little painting, rollering sort of jobs. That's all, that's all me, that is. Can't go too wrong, can it? And once this is all dry in a few days, we're going to put a coat of paint on it. And I, I, I don't know, any ideas, guys, on what colour we should go? Because I don't have a bloody clue with this sort of stuff. It looks quite good like that, really. <laughs> this is coming from the same guy that's always complaining at Bex for a reclaiming. But this has come up great, hasn't it? Go, Bex. As you might be able to just make out, this is my start line. So I've got these three panels fitted and now I've got this awkward little corner to sort of try and sort out. So what I'm going to do is make a template to create the right shape to cut out of my plank here. Ordinarily what would be great is if I had one of those cool little tools where you push it up against the edges and it creates an indent for you to then transfer onto the piece of wood or whatever it is you're cutting but I haven't got one of those. So here's my template creator. Can be made out of any standard cereal box. So here she is in all her glory. My little template. I've templated till my I can template no more. So if I put my, there she is, you can barely see that really. Let's go cut her and see if she fits in reality. So here we go, let's see if she fits. Yay! Yay! This side's really sort of coming together. So guess where we're going? Back to me hatches. Yet believe it or not, they're actually not quite finished yet. So as you all know, we've refitted the wood on these hatches twice. I've refitted the bottom window ledges once. I have refitted the bottom locks once. Can you guess what's coming up? Top window ledges and top locks. Now we've got to try and start fillering up the top parts. Here we are. So this is where the old lock used to go in. And we'll, we're gonna bang another little lock up here to go in here. We're going to put in a special locking system here, I think in the middle, something like a, like they have like on a castle, you know, and they chomp down. That'll keep the baddies out, won't it? Mm. Okay, on to hatch number two. Hold the nozzle up over the hole and squeeze all that filler goodness into the hole. Thumb the little bad boy in, so all over my thumb, obviously. <laughs> In the words of Pat, our surveyor, beautiful. And now for the biggie, guys. This is going to shock a lot of you. This is hatch number three, and this needs some serious work. Is that a bodge putting that in there? Well, yes and no. I mean, it's better to try and preserve the wood. Mini bodge. Here we are, all ready. In it goes. Now I've just got a in the way. And when this is all done, we can put some lovely new holes in there for the new locks. Come to Papa! Is that not going? How do you do it? 
You're gonna do it. Here she is, the pride of eating soaken. She's a very clever egg. Not only is she uh, a cert certified gas engineer, not only is she an expert twig collector, she is also a uh, borderline chippy. Probodge 101. Ooh. It's the best thing I've ever done. Ever. A lot of people think that this is uh, just meant to be a fun channel. They are mistaken. This is a how-to channel. This is the exact way that you uh, maintain Maintain. Are we maintaining it? We're completely refitting the bloody thing, aren't we? This is the exact way to do it, isn't it, Bex? That's how for now, or whatever it was. Uh, I'll get the old wood glue now. I'm deep in showing people exactly how to sort out a window frame on an arrowboat. Pump that on there. Beautiful. This is exactly how you do it. A little stubbly bit. Cute, isn't it? In it goes, and I'm putting it in that way around. It's getting a bit dark now, but we whack a bit of filler on that in the morning. That is exactly how you do it. So there we go. She's all dry. A lovely, look at it. Proper little crow bodge going on here. So we're gonna get the wood filler now and we're gonna get into all the little crevices. Very, very exciting stuff. Bex is the expert at this. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Do you do that sort of thing, do you? Probably want it raised a little bit so that when I come to sand it down, it goes all nicely, I suppose. There we go, leave that to dry. So here are our beautiful floorboards sanded off and look how gorgeous they've come up. They're green on that. Obviously we'll put something protective on them, but I'm so glad I forced Chris to let me keep them because he wanted to throw them away. Your plan is to sand them all? Yeah. The whole lot? Yeah. Oh, okay. Look at the difference. Mm. How beautiful is that? Was that your plan all along? Yeah. Ah, okay. Looks really good, look brand new, don't they? Only about 50 more to go. On your way. So we'll give this wood filler a little sandy now it's all dry. And we'll put a bit of varnish over this and then we'll put the new holes in it as well. I know, what a bloody mess. <laughs> so I'm really, really stoked with how well this is coming up, like, it's the wood is really beautiful underneath like so i think it overall it's just going to finish off the kitchen beautifully i'm really really chuffed with it no one's allowed to go on it with shoes so she's already getting a bit ahead of herself here getting very <laughs> cocky early on eh well no it's naked the it poor wood is naked so if you put footprints on it it means i'm gonna have to take it outside to sand again which is not preferable so oh i thought you meant like forever whenever someone steps on it it has to be with no shoes oh no god no i mean right now because it's just yeah it'll stain and stuff really easily because it hasn't got anything protecting it I do worry at times because it gets dark and it's getting on and you know there's neighbours here but Be Bex is out here like a, uh, I don't know, like a woman possessed. She just does not stop because she is adamant to get this boat finished so we can get cruising, bless her. And if that's at the expense of a neighbour with a, a, a £3 million riverside house then so be it. 